So hey everybody, I got the winter base camp set up. Um, I had it in a different spot last year, different location completely. And I ended up moving it in the middle of the season, actually nearby where I am right here right now. And I decided to come back here because it's kind of convenient. And, you know, I know nobody else can come over here, so um, that's all good. This year, well, actually last year, I put a piece of plywood down on the ground when I set the tent up over here. But it would rain and stuff, and it would just get in underneath there, and everything would get soaked, and it was terrible. Really pain to deal with. So this year, I actually made a deck, and it's got two pieces of plywood on top of it. It's not really rugged. Um, we have gotten some snow this year, a couple of inches at a time, maybe five or six inches in all. But each time we did, I took my black sled and I put some stuff on it and ratchet strapped it down and I tugged it in here. And finally I got all my stuff in here and I got everything all set up. So the inside of the tent, that's laid out a little bit different this year. Um, than it was last year too. We'll check that out. I'll show you around the inside of the tent here. It's actually pretty well glamping it, but it's base camp. It's going to be here all winter, so um, I tried to figure figure out a way that I could keep my stuff dry and uh, have have the tent stay up in case I couldn't get out here for a couple of weeks and the snow got heavy. Last year I had a center pole in here and it really takes up, you wouldn't believe how much space you gain by removing a center pole. What I did is I, I actually carried in a 2x4, a long one, it up and ran it across the hole underneath. So now, ten as you can see, it's hooked. It has a guy line that goes down underneath the tarp there and is connected to a tree in the back. We'll take a look in through the window right here. And my chair set up there. Thermometer, trash bag, my little uh, bag for gathering uh, birch bark. Got a little cooler there beside the chair. I'll leave out here. There's the bunk, which is a cot that I carried in. Get the uh, Camp 22 over in the corner there. Made a little, I don't know, a shelf, countertop. I can kind of prepare food there. Hopefully that's going to be pretty handy last year. I don't remember what it was that I was using. But I had the extra stuff and I threw something together. Then I got the wood stove for the same spot where that was. And up above the wood stove, I have my stuff hanging up there. The same little rack that I made last year. I think I might have had it. batteries that uh, and those are actually over there are the batteries that hooked my uh, solar panel um, I can carry those in and out and charge them this light is the light that I bought last year the LED panel kind of wing it how I hung it up but this year I hung it up from the ceiling and I actually just wired it with some thin wire I don't really want to focus on it, but it's pretty bright. And it hangs about an inch or two, well, maybe three quarters of an inch from the, from the top of the tent. I found that it gets kind of warm. I don't feel very good about it touching the tent there. Last year I think I just had it kind of hanging over here somewhere, but now I have those new batteries. It's kind of like, you know, I can't do without it now. 
I was having all kinds of tr struggles with lighting in here, and it's it's pretty bright. I'm, I'm happy with it. Not only that, it's energy efficient. set up here for the winter um, all I'm gonna have to do is bring in my food my beverages and whatever I'm gonna entertain myself with a lot of times I just go out and hike around try to find something cool in nature and, and do a little recording of it if you hear that I get a deer after I get done butchering it I bring the carcass out into the woods and turn it back to nature but the uh, animals have it in um, I like to put a game camera up on it, and this year, um, I was lucky enough to get a deer this year, and this year I have uh, two game cams on the pile. Um, this is uh, the, what's left of the deer. As you can see, that's the ribs are pretty chewed up. Just to put things in perspective, you might be able to just see it, but that's where that bay pile is. It's pretty close to where I'm sleeping. I'm going to say within 50 or 60 yards. Storm warning in effect, snow will end as flurries, storm totals 4 to 7 inches, temperatures drop into the lower 20s overnight, north and northwest winds at 10 to 15, we'll see a lot of cloudiness at 28 to 33 degrees on Sunday.
forecast said snow rain freezing rain sounds like it started already I'm getting ready to hit the sack so um, we'll see how things go if I wake up I'll try to record a little bit what I hear what's going on out there
don't see any claw marks in these tracks. That's usually a pretty good indication that it's a cat. Cat's claws retract. Although coyotes don't show their claws very much either. But uh, since it's been a cat that's been coming by here regularly, I'm sure that's what it is. I just barely missed that cat. He was here. I took a walk and I got back to the camp. You can see my camp right over there. That's where I'm set up. Right here's where the animal carcass was, or is. There really isn't too much left of it now. And I know that animal saw me because... It's pretty easy to see by looking at this. And as soon as it saw me, it took off running out that way.
Shout out to my friend on the West Coast. Merry Christmas, buddy. I hope that you're all settled in out there and well acclimated with your surroundings. Looking forward to hearing from you. Shout out to all my YouTube friends. To people in England and India and Greece. Uh, Europe, all over the world. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. And um, thanks. Thanks for... Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for all the really, you know, the kind comments that everybody makes. I really appreciate it. And it, it keeps me making the videos. It's fun and it's something that I do anyway. So I may as well post it on YouTube. I'm not on uh, Facebook or I don't tweet. I don't even own a smartphone. So... All the views, all the subscriptions I get are just based on YouTube viewers. So, thank you everybody. Thanks everybody. Thanks for watching. If you uh, haven't subscribed and you made it this far through the video, consider subscribing. Um, follow along with my vlog. If you like the outdoors, um, camping. I used to do a lot more fishing. I haven't done much fishing recently. I kind of got tired of catching stock trout out of the brooks and having the otters eat them all up. And they'll stock the fish and the otters eat them up. In the summertime, the water's so low it can't. Nothing could survive in it anyway. It just didn't wasn't fun to me anymore. I guess I could truck myself to some lakes somewhere and and do some lake fishing, but. I've always been more of a brook or river fisher. What I want to say though is Merry Christmas everybody. God bless. Until the next time, take care. Peace.